Hi there everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of recurrence relations. I am Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture, I shall be dealing with inhomogeneous recurrence relations. And let us see what is the definition of this. So the definition is, it is a n equals to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus so on c k a n minus k plus f of n. And here c1, c2, c k are real constants where ck is non-zero and you have the function f of n which is a function of n okay then it is an inhomogeneous recurrence relation it is also known as non-homogeneous recurrence relation okay now we have already seen this part a n up to a n equal to c1 a n minus 1 so on up to ck a n minus k we have already seen this kind of recurrence relation which was homogeneous recurrence relation, right? Only new thing that is added over here is f of n. So let us see some examples related to inhomogeneous recurrence relation. I have given you over here plenty of examples so that you get familiar with what is f of n over here, okay? So the, for the first one, you can see a n is equals to 3 a n minus 1 minus 2. Now you compare it with the definition over here. You already get what is c1, c2, ck and what is your function f of n. If you compare it with this definition f of n is minus 2. And here this ck will be c1 which is 3. Okay. And uh, this a0 equal to 0 is our initial condition. Now for the second equation you see the function f of n is n okay and for the third one it is minus 1 to the power n for the fourth one it is 2 into n square and then fifth one is n square minus 3 sixth one is non-trivial it is n into n minus 1 okay so like that you can have various forms of your functions uh, f of n taking over here okay in this in homogeneous recurrence relation okay now if you also observe from question number one to question number seven you only see that there are two terms like a n and a n minus one coming into the picture but it is possible that you may have a n a n minus one a n minus two and more functions entering into the problem okay so the it depends upon the kind of the question that you are solving okay so we will soon see how to solve these but let us see first the procedure of solving this kind of uh, inhomogeneous recurrence relation so the procedure is first you consider that homogeneous recurrence relation part okay now we have already seen in the previous video lectures of mine how to solve homogeneous recurrence relation now the solution that we will obtain for homogeneous recurrence relation will be denoted by a n and you are just uh, giving it a uh, notation that is to the power h and you are writing it in the bracket okay so that is what is the notation now remember one thing over here that we had seen five steps over there but we will be only uh, solving up to the general solution of the uh, homogeneous recurrence, uh, recurrence relation that we have derived over here okay now we will go to step 2 what does it say the particular solution depends upon the roots of the characteristic equation of the homogeneous equation and the nature of fn okay thus we obtain the particular solution and we denote it by uh, this notation a n and bracketed p in the power okay so let us see what is the I am giving you a table over here which will help you to find the particular solution generally this is the type of the functions that we encounter while solving a, a inhomogeneous recurrence relation okay so the, these are the substitutions that are available we will see this substitutions while solving problem okay the entire step 2 will be more clear 
to you when we will actually solve the problem. You can jot down this table for your reference because you will need it for the uh, for the problem solving. So you can take down this table, okay, and take down the notations carefully. Now step three will be the general solution of the inhomogeneous recurrence relation will be given by a n equal to a n. Uh, in which uh, a n to the power h plus a n to the power p. Now that is uh, the homogeneous recurrence relation solution that we got along with the particular solution. Okay. So, and the step four, if you want to find the explicit solution, you will have to use the initial condition which are given to you in the question. Okay. So that will help you to find the constants which are available to uh, available to you in the homogeneous uh, solution of the recurrence relation okay and uh, once you find the constants that are there in the homogeneous recurrence relation solution you will get your explicit solution that will be your explicit formula for a n okay this is the overall procedure of uh, how to solve in homogeneous recurrence relation I have given you four steps over here but I don't say that you need only four steps to solve sometimes it depends upon the problem the steps might increase to five or six you can divide the steps but this is the general layout of the steps that are required so please go through the entire procedure carefully and uh, while solving the problem the entire procedure will be clear the step two especially that we have seen it will be clear to you how to do the substitution and everything will settle down with the notations. So uh, please go through the procedure. Till then, thank you. Keep solving good amount of mathematics. See you in the next video lecture.